name is Creature and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to sync frags in Sony Vegas Pro 13. So what you're going to need is obviously Sony Vegas, some clips, and a song. So I'm going to have the clips in the description for you guys to use throughout the tutorial and you know the, a link to the song so you guys can like download it and follow along or you could use your own clips if you want to it's totally okay with you so I got the song right here and we're gonna want to move the video track because we don't want that to appear so you're gonna press U on your keyboard and just delete it I also like to uh, do my projects in 1920 by 1080 uh, 30 FPS because um a lot more easier to sync to you could sync to like 60 fps like majority of the people but you know i like to do my like my comp my timeline like this so you want to go find a place where you want to sync your song and yeah hey mama she told me here's where i'm going to start it where he says yeah i'm going to start it right here split it and just delete this part right here drag it to over here now we have our you know basic timeline what we're gonna do now is we're gonna wanna sync to where the sync the points of where the beats are throughout the song. So right here we have our first point. Yeah. Hey. So here's where we're gonna want our want to put our points. Just put a point there. Hey, mama, she told me I'm great. I'm no so here's where we're gonna wanna put our second point, third point, and the fourth point. Do it throughout all the individual beats in here. If I forgot to set it earlier, press M on your keyboard to place the markers. Okay. Now we have our points here, which we're going to use to sync. Now what I like to do first is I like to sync my, you know, gun clips and all that first. Just so I can get the hang of what I'm supposed to be doing. So we're going to start it off right here. Yeah. Hey, mama, she told me I'm great. I'm on the way. I'm on the way, on the way. Okay. We're going to do out of two things here. A, you can write it just, you know, start it up the clip off here and have a kill someone right here. Or you can start off the clip right here as him killing someone. So we're going to do that sync here. Press no. First thing you want to do is go to properties, disable resample, so you don't get all this fuzziness through in your video. Now it looks a lot more cleaner. Press U on your keyboard to get rid of the audio track, and you will, you're gonna to want to go to where he gets the kill in the scope. Now I take a bit forever to kill the dude, so I'm gonna to go to where it's about to fade out right here. You can add a, you can really, you can do your sync right here if you want to. Because majority of the people do that, but I like to have mine scoped in, so it, for me it just looks a lot more cleaner. Here's where we're going to want to insert a velocity. Go to property. No, not properties. Just press right click on your mouse. Insert velocity. So now we have our velocity point here. We're going to want to end the kill right here. So what we're going to want to do is put this to 300. Go over here and put it to 50. So now we have something like this. Now what we're going to do next is put another point right here and put it up. Now we have four points of velocity here, which is an okay sync, but for me, I'm going to add a bit more to it. Looks okay, but we're going to make it a lot more smoother by adding more points to it. For me, I use about seven points of velocity, which basically are these points right here and a frag because it makes the clip for me a lot more smoother. I like a bit, I like smooth clips when it comes to syncing in Sony Vegas. That's why I do methods like this. I've been using this method of velocity for like a couple months now, and I've stuck with it ever since because it looks a lot more smoother, as you can see. Now it looks a lot more smoother now than the just then the four point velocity one. Now we're gonna want our second clip to be right here since it's not gonna work because I take forever to get the kills in this damn clip. Is we wanna split it. Go to like roughly about, I guess, here would be good. Where he's about to like cancel his animation. Do the same thing that we did in the first clip. And sync. Now this velocity points majority is gonna be used throughout everything in this entire sync. So if you basically have the velocity points down, then you can use this velocity pattern if you want in your edits. It will make your sync a lot more smoother, but you're going to want to adjust the velocity points for like different kinds of style of editing. Okay, this is a good sync. Now we're going to want to cut it right here. 
go to where he's about to get the kill right here since it took forever to get the kill i ended off right here where it's about to go dark trim the start or split it and just delete it now this is where he gets the kill now do the same thing again we're basically going to be doing this throughout the entire video so if you understand you can continue sinking going on further and the uh, timeline so now we're going to do the same thing just add the video points seven point velocity now this is almost similar to the phase middle velocity points but it's a lot more different he does is a lot more different and smoother but now we have something like this now Mama, she told me I'm great I'm on the way Mama, she told me I'm great I'm on the way Mama, she told me I'm great I'm on the way okay now we're gonna add our second clip here since mine's like a bit split so I'm just gonna put the clip right here right here this is a resample you on the keyboard get rid of the track right here is so we're gonna want to start it and then do the same thing it's pretty much the same velocity throughout the entire video so if you understand the pattern you can basically just click off the video now now we have this okay we're gonna drag this a bit out more split it and then you know go to where he's about to get the kill again where he gets the kill actually so right here is where i'll end it right there and drag this long over here and then yeah do the same thing now you understand the basic pattern on how to do my kind of velocity i couldn't really count it as mine maybe someone's already done this velocity pattern before so just this basic velocity pattern i use this for all of my frags and uh it works pretty rap perfectly actually for me since i'm always used to it like doing this kind of velocity during hcs and all that isn't a big bother for me i don't like to rush and use like four point velocity anymore because you know this kind of velocity is a lot more it's a lot more faster and unique okay now we have our basic sync here now let's look at how it sees Mama, she told me i'm great i'm on the way i'm on the way on the way hey, to be keeping me safe i got Okay, now we have our velocity points here. Now we're going to want to put a cinematic here, 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 and here. That's basically how it's going to go. So now we're going to add our, I guess, our death cinematic right here. So, you know, when I like to do cinematics, I always like to put a timeline up here. So, you know, I can do a lot more to it. So you just want to put insert video track, grab the cinematic, which is this one right here with, with the foot. And obviously disable the resample. And you can delete the audio track because we don't need that anytime soon. We're going to want to start it off right here if you want to. And just drag, press control, time stretch it to the little point right here. Okay. Now you're going to do the same thing with the velocity point. It's going to be a lot more fast and it's going to be a lot quick. Let's only think about like these little sync points in the edits. Okay. Boom. 25 10 um, 25 and 10 so now we have a cinematic sync like this which is a bit too fast you can change it if you want so now we're gonna grab our second cinematic the zipper sample delete the track i don't know why i'm all, all constantly doing this but uh we'll start it off right here just drag it do the same thing boom 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 and boom so now we have this going on right here uh, this is a bit too fast you can just always drag this a bit over here more which i'm gonna do here because it's a bit too fast for me uh, we're going 
gonna drag it a bit over here more though because it's a bit too slow at the ending part. Okay, now our last cinematics is what we're gonna sync here now. Shift B, properties, zipper, resample, and that's it. We're gonna want to do the same thing. Control it, control stretch it in here, and just sync it. It's gonna be, and then we're gonna preview it all of. We're gonna preview all of it like once we're like once we have it all synced. Boom. Now our last cinematic. Again, same thing. I don't know why I'm always saying this in this damn tutorial. Shift it, boom. Man, we're pretty much just done. If you want to sync the the time, the front timeline, you could. For now, I'm just gonna sync it like this. We'll get to this actually the the intro part first, you know, so it can look a lot more better and fluent. There we go. Now we're gonna check how this looks. If it looks a bit weird, we're gonna switch it up a bit. Okay, now we're gonna look at how this looks all together. Actually, we're gonna end it like we're gonna put this over here a bit more. Actually, we're just gonna we're just gonna delete this first and just actually drag it over here. Okay, now that's pretty good sync actually, not gonna lie, probably one of my best, not really, I'm just making that up. Now we're gonna add our, you know, intro cinematic, which will be right here. And you can just delete the, delete the, this will be the last time you ever delete the fucking audio thing again. I'm unprofessional right now, I don't know why, so we're gonna want to do the same thing, drag the track, then add the below point. So we're gonna add it right here. And do the same thing as you're going to sync your clips. Um, I don't know about this feel point though. It looks a bit weird. Maybe I won't do it like this, probably just a little bit more different. But for now, we're just gonna do it like this because, you know, we're doing a tutorial and you'll understand what I'm doing in a bit. And I'll put a five right here. Boom, okay, now we have this. Yeah, hey, mama, she told me, yeah, hey. I don't wanna like, it's a bit too fast, I wanna put it to 200, okay. Now we're gonna pre render all this. Yeah, hey, mama, she told me I'm great. I'm on the way, I'm on the way, on the way. Hey, to be keeping me safe. I got a blade, shoving it right up. Yeah, hey, mama, she told me I'm great. I'm on the way, I'm on the way, on the way. Hey, to be keeping me safe. I got a blade, shoving it right up. Yeah, hey, mama, she told me I'm great. I'm on the way, I'm on the way, on the way. Hey, to be keeping me safe. I got a blade, shoving it right up. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Hey, mama, she told me I'm great. I'm on the way. That's actually a pretty good sync. I like the sync throughout here, but the beginning sync, I don't really like it. Maybe I'll touch it or just leave it. So from this point on, you can do whatever you wish. You can add some pan crop if you like to. Just, you know, just add like a beat bump if you want to. You can do pretty much anything you want to with these clips since they're all synced. Uh, you can do a lot. You can add effects, you know, some shake and all that. But we're not going to be doing this, this video because, you know, uh, I don't want to. And if you guys want to like a shake tutorial on how I do my shake and edits, then be sure to like, you know, like, comment, do it. I don't fucking know. I don't know what the business is nowadays. So the final touches we're going to be doing is just, you know, we're just going to add like a black bar on it. I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to add a black bar in Vegas at this point. Like who hasn't watched any tutorials yet, really? So now we're going to want to do multi-mask. 
Note to self, this sync is will only be good for editing frags. If you're trying to do console edits with this type of uh, velocity points, it is, it's not going to work. Because these, since these are high FPS clips, the velocity points will make them look really smooth. And, you know, since they're really slowed down and that they're, you know, basically V-dubbed really high. It looks a lot smoother and I don't know what I'm talking about. So this is your basic syncing tutorial. Maybe I'll do an updated syncing tutorial for fragging. PC editing and all that. So yeah, we're gonna do one quick look at it. Yeah, hey, mama, she told me I'm great. I'm on the way. I'm on the way. On the way. Hey, to be keeping me safe. I got a blaze. Shoving it right up. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. So I'm probably just gonna add some shake and all that to it, just to make it look better and some RSMB to it. So yeah, I just wanna say thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys want more tutorials like this, be sure to comment on what you want, like you know, effects wise, what you guys want edited and all that shit well what effect or what the toy you want so yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next peace yeah. hey, mama, she told me I'm great. I'm